Hi. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name is Barry. And we're Jay. And together we are Matusu Crafts. Thank so, you for joining us. Hello. Let's just sort that camera out. That's a little bit high. Too high. It's, so, his, it's his fault we're late. It was beautifying himself. <laughs> Didn't do a very good job, did he? <laughs> <laughs> filter. Hashtag no filter. <laughs> Whatevs. Anyway, thank you for joining us this evening. And we hope you had an amazing world card making day yesterday. If you didn't see our um, demonstration on the world card making craftathon, you can still join the group and uh, or our private group page, uh, Crafty Stampers on Facebook, and you can watch the replay on that. So Barry presented and created five cards using the playful pets, all the peas. Playful pets, design stairs paper, and I use coming home, uh, home together dies for mine. But we will show you the cards that we created for that. Uh, and yes, so if you are part of the crafty stampers page as well, sorry, I'm leaning. And, and you I'm are very leaning. I'm just trying to push me off camera here. I'm slowly getting off. You just want it all to yourself, don't you? No, because Tommy was sat next to me and mm -hmm. he left. Uh, yes, anyway, if you are part of the Crafty Stampers page, do share what you created for the World Card Making Day. We'd love to see uh, your projects and inspire others as well within the page. Uh, so we've got quite a few already uh, on yes, here, lots, so we'll just lots say Lots of comments, there's loads. So Carol, Rebecca, um, Eden, Anita, Linda, um, Betty, Connie, Sylvia, Cheryl, Joanne, um, TSC123 UK. Hi, I'm not sure of your name, but if you want us to know your name, please put that in the comments. Maureen, um, Sherry, Julie, um, that's so far what we've yes. got. So please say hi, pop on, and um, and let us know. So, yes, yes. Um, obviously, if you pop a comment where you are as well, hi, Tracy. Hi. Um, that's TSC. <laughs> you yeah. can read it there, can't you? Yes. Um, so, uh, yeah. So please pop a comment on here and um, you will be able to win one of the makes, which or the make, which we make tonight. So I think we're only making one tonight, aren't we? Yes. Yeah, so we will be in the running to win that. So where you're writing the comments right now and the live things, that's where we will be taking the um, taking your names from. So if you'd like to win, pop it in there. Say hi. Yes. If you are watching the replay, do pop in a comment in the main uh, comment section and you'll be put into the random draw on our next live stream yeah. next Wednesday. Also, if you have clicked on a link from either Facebook uh, or on one of our groups, you do need to either open it on your YouTube app and sign into your account to be able to chat with us uh, because otherwise you will not be able to have that yes. option. We do get a few questions every yeah. now and then saying we won't, we can't comment and we've, I think that's what yeah. worked. we've suddenly realised that's maybe why you can't comment. Yeah, normally on the app you click it and it opens up a window which doesn't automatically sign you in whilst your YouTube app uh, automatically signs you in on your Google account. Yeah, so once if, once you know we're live, then I suppose maybe go into your actual proper YouTube app and then find us that way or just sign in again, like Jay just said. Mm. Yeah. Yes. He's looking at me going, don't say that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hi, Alison. So, yes, so before we get started, uh, there's a couple of things that has... Uh, beginning of the month, uh, so the designer series paper or pattern paper sale is on uh, selective uh, papers on 15% off on our website, mitosocrafts.com. Uh, so check those out. There's uh, some from the annual catalog and the mini catalog as well, uh, including the Snowflake Splendor. Yes. Uh, amazing paper, which we have used quite a bit uh, the last week or so and some other stuff as well, which currently there's, I can't remember. Yeah, there's quite a few. So, <laughs> but if you're interested, head over to our website, matusicrafts.com. You'll find a link to our online shop on there, and you, you'll be able to find all of the papers which are currently on sale. Um, there's quite a few. Mm. So if you'd yeah. like to stock up on your papers, you can do. Um, also, another thing, we've started a new thing this month. Um, for any orders over £50, you will be receiving a packet of gilded gems free of charge. So not only so any orders will receive a card and a little thank you gift from us anyway. 
Um, but if you spend £50 or more, then you would actually go get that and we will send you a whole packet of Gilded Gems worth mm. £6.50 free of charge. Even we haven't used that. And no, we haven't. I haven't. We haven't even got them in our hands yet to... Um, cause we, we have all, ordered them. We have ordered. We're coming yes. tomorrow. Um, so, yes, yeah, so bear that in mind. So, But you must use the host code, which is on the website, to be able to receive that. Okay, so best thing to do is head over to our website, click the link. The code is on there as well. Yeah. Um, over £50 before postage and packaging. Yes. Then um, you will receive a packet of Gilded Gems. Yes. And another thing uh, with the new Stampin' Up! products, the Quite Curvy or Curvy Celebrations uh, bundle. So it is a pre-release uh, and it's out of the catalogue and it is gorgeous. You get a stamp set and a dies and um, there's also a Christmas version or a Christmas stamp set only available obviously pre-Christmas uh, and the stamp set and dice actually carries on until the next year. Yes, and that's at the moment is only available to demonstrators so if you'd like to get early access to that you can join our team um, and you'll get early access to that stuff. You will then also get 20% discount off of future products um, for at least three months. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, you want to know a little bit more about early release, and obviously got, we've got the whole new catalogue coming out again next month, so you're, you're going to have access, you'll have access to that as well with early release if you're a demonstrator. So if that's something that you're interested in, then please message us um, and we can tell you about how you can save some money um, on your future purchases as well. Yes, Excellent. and I think that's pretty much it. Oh, finally, <coughs> sorry, that wasn't it. Um, we have sent the the Stamping Glam Squad tutorial to our customers. So thank you very much for shopping with us uh, last month. If you have uh, shopped with us and your order amounted to more than 45 pounds, you would have received the Stamping Glam Squad exclusive tutorial in your email. So check your junk mail as well in case it uh, goes on there. And hopefully uh, that tutorial, if you'd like to uh, buy the tutorial in itself, will be up on our website as well sometime next week. As soon as he pulls his finger out. <laughs> I have done uh, it. Have I, have it's done it. it. I, have, I just need to add it onto our okay. shop. So yes, and I've written the tutorial for the flip top pop-up. I just need to record the video. <laughs> Lovely. Good. Yeah. Cool. So we've got a few more people there. Cindy, Alison, um, Sandra, hi. Is that Kia? Yep. Um, thank you for joining us. Good, good. Cool. So, um, yeah, so as we mentioned, are you going, we're going to show that as we go camera down, face down yep. these ones here. Some yep. of the, We're going to show some at the beginning and some at the end. So you're going to see my ones first and we'll show Jay's ones at the end. Right. But so we're going to do the winner of this card here. Cracking with this card. Okay, so the winner of this one, let's just update, refresh the update. Yeah, that's it. So the winner of this card is going to be... Good luck, everyone. Sherry. Sherry, congratulations. Sherry, please message us and um, that card will work its way on to you. Um, we do need your address and your comment and that we can send that to you once again because I know you have one previously, so we do need to hear from you that you're happy to receive this card again. Um, so good. Again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, no, and I did it. I was so oh. well. There we go. So, Jay is going to um, now crack, show you these cards. You made it. You oh, I made it. it. Yes. Okay, then. I'll, I'll talk about this. Yeah, you talk about it. Okay, Jay can, get, catch, his, Jay can yeah. catch his breath. Um, every, I can see that everyone is look, looking forward to the flip-top tutorial. Betty is waiting patiently for it. Yes. Um, Betty, I will keep on at him. When is it? When is it? <laughs> When's it going to happen? Um, I will keep nagging him. So yeah, these are the cards which we made, or the cards I made yesterday for World Card Making Day. Um, so this one is sentimentless. And using the pamper pets and the playful, um, the pamper pets yeah. stamp set. And this one's here, and the papers which I think is really nice. It's a really, really simple card. And I tried to focus on doing a designer series paper as well. And, uh, and I used a designer series paper to actually cut a lot of the stuff out. This one I stamped and I coloured. But this one here is just... Like, I've, just I've just fussy cut these out because the paper's just beautiful for it. So they were really simple cards, but I think they were really quite nice and easy to actually make and using the, the little trinkets as well on this one. 
Now, my two favourite cards actually are coming up right now because I like this one here. Thank you. I just love this little grumpy dog. I think it's so cute, or she is so cute. It's got to be a girl because she's got a little red, little, little red bow in her hair. So she is just so cute. She's saying thank you, but she's not very happy. <laughs> <laughs> so she's a grumpy dog. It, it sounds like a sarcastic thing. Yeah, Thanks. so um, <laughs> that one there, and this one here is just going to be my favourite. Grumpy cat. So you've got grumpy dog, and you've got grumpy cat. Um, really, really simples, um, simples, what am I doing? Um, really, really simple cards. Um, but just, just making use of the designer series paper and just a little bit of stamping. So they were the five cards which I made yesterday for World Card Making Day. And some of them will be working their way out to customers, I think, as well as a little thank you um, with Grumpy Cat and Grumpy Dog. Um, will be coming towards you if you purchase from us. So um, some lucky people will receive these um, thank you cards or the enjoy ones as well to enjoy your new products. So that was basically why, how we made those and what we made those for. So do you like? Good, good. Lovely little Shih Tzu card, yes. She's cute, isn't she? That one there. <laughs> Sherry, I don't know if you saw that, but you won. You won, Sherry, the card. So please ping us your um, your address again, please, Sherry. I can see you just popped in. So, yes, I'm going to hand you over to Jay now. <laughs> um, he was distracted. Oh, yes. <coughs> cool. Hiya. So, didn't Barry do well? So, if you'd like to see his demonstration, again, it is in the Facebook group or um, in the World Card Making Day Craftathon or our Crafty Stampers page group as well. Um, so for today's makes, I or make, shall I say, um, I'm gonna recreate this card. Um, this was created for Creating Kindness Bug Hop using heat embossing on vellum with cardstock underlay. Um, <laughs> underlay, underlay. <laughs> Sorry, that was very quick of you, Barry. Yeah, well good, done. Um, it's good that you're sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, using the envelope dies for the bobles and the ornamental envelope stamp set for the actual bobles. The sta the sentiment is actually from perfectly plot. I want to say yeah. That one so Merry Christmas and it just happens to fit in and looking at my card I have missed a few products that Barry will be um, make, uh, <laughs> getting me getting. yes and the uh, layout actually comes from another video hop that we do stamp around UK uh, which was designed I believe by Janice uh, which Barrick also created a card for another video so if you'd like to see his version of the same layout check out um, the video on our channel. Cool, so we have Blushing Bride. So use your normal normal cardstock. And where is the toolbox? Oh, it's right here. Off, yeah. It was covered in cat stuff. Suki stuff, but not the cat. <laughs> And Tommy's sat right next to me and I can't really move. Come on, move. Yeah, so use your normal card base. Ours is, as usual, odd. Uh, so this one is 21 centimeters by 14.6 centimeters, folded in half at 10.5, or that is eight and a quarter by five and three quarters, folded at four one eighths of an inch. Uh, US and C uh, Canada, I believe yours is eight and a half by five and a half. So fold that in half is four and a quarter. So for the layers, I have Rococo Rose, which is 1.5 centimeter less than your card front, or that is three. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine sixteenth of an inch less than your card front, and the same goes for a normal whisper white. So it that is just the same um, dimension. I have petal pink card, soft sea foam, and pool party. So I am missing. Get ready, Barry. 
uh, Bellum, yeah. uh, Playful Pet Stream, Two Inch Punch, Snowflake Back Adhesive something, <laughs> Adhesive Snowflake, Adhesive Back Snowflakes, and I'll see how I go. But whilst we're um, waiting, we can do some. <laughs> stamping. Okay. So the stamping is actually only on the vellum, um, but I might do some stamping on the background. I'll s I'll I'll see. Yeah, we'll do some stamping on the background. Change it up slightly. I think you said that one there, didn't you? Yeah, that yeah, one. That's that all one. I can remember. Okay. Tell me Two inch that. punch. You got it. Cool. Can you get me as well uh, pool party uh, ink, please? I'll do some uh, pool party stamping on the card. Yeah. Thank you. Don't hand it to me. So in the ornamental envelopes, the uh, stamp set, you have the bubbles. And because obviously it matches with the envelope dies, uh, it's quite nice that you have the dotted lines for the addresses, or you can even turn it over and have it as your um, string if you want to add more bubbles. And then you can create garlands with all of these designs. You have the dots to match uh, to then go with the leafy design or the twiggy design and then you also have corner stamps which you can use uh, for tonight i do want the leafy one so what did you get up to yesterday with the world card making day to be honest i was at work i was working um and thank thank you to sarah at uh Kiss Creative uh, for setting up the Zoom. She's done really well and she sat down all day um, making sure everything works well. So our TNT design team member, uh, Sarah Sayers, thank you so much. So we are just going to stamp. So keeping the layout the same, I'm gonna add a bit more stamping in the corners as well on here. So I just got some paper because pool party ink and I'm gonna see how it looks. Yeah, that looks all right. What's the second generation? Ooh, I'm gonna do it light. So I'm gonna do second generation. So stamp off and then um, stamp on. So I'll, I'll bring it up closer to the camera in a second stamp off and stamp there there you go it's just a hint of stamping and i've concentrated more in the middle because that will get covered as well but i'm gonna add a bit more in here where else there you go. cool i feel happy now it's stamped or you can um emboss that layer as well which is great so bellum we are gonna stamp the bubbles in Versamark ink but before we do that we will emboss body So prepare our vellum. That's the best way. Can you see it? You probably can't see the. Oh yes, you can. I just look. 
I just look. So just to take off any extra moisture or oils from my fingers. So the powder doesn't stick anywhere else. And because it's a large stamp uh, and it's quite a heavy block, just turn it over and add your ink this way. Have we got foam? Please, sorry. Our table is slightly, whatchamacallit? Bumpy. It's grainy. Textured. Textured. Wood effect. <laughs> so that, that way you can see it a bit more. Did that work? I can't see. But it should be there. Yeah, it's there. It's there somewhere. I'm also gonna stamp the sentiment as well and we can just heat them at the powder all in one go so just be aware that obviously if you're going to die cut that and you're going to punch that one, just leave enough space. I think I have done it. If not, I'm sure it'll be fine. And we are using white stamping emboss powder. Hi, Danielle. Hi, Denise. So white. Just a little bit. I'm doing that noise again. Perhaps I should have cut this A4 piece of paper vellum. But I will cut it before I die cut it. So there you go. And I'm just gonna get rid of this one and we still have this old piece of <laughs> shiny paper anyone remember that stamp <laughs> it's, it was a christmas stamp as well i'm sure that's two years old that's two, christmases two christmases ago so i'm just gonna heat that with the heat tool so it's gonna get loud uh, either turn down the volume and chat amongst yourselves gives a, a lovely shimmer emboss on there so if you are new to em heat embossing it's amazing um, so now we can die cut those along with these pieces and we're gonna punch that one so let's was oh is, is that suki is it dinner time dinner Come on. All right, I'm just gonna punch it whilst we're here and then so I'm just aligning that within the circular design more towards the middle I did think of adding some more stamping on there which you can do but the curve of the punch and the curve of 
the stamp design doesn't really match to my liking. I guess you could curve, if you're feeling brave, you can curve this round so it matches that or but you can see if you do this one it just goes onto the sentiment but that's what I was thinking I wish it it worked um, it worked better but it didn't so I'm just gonna keep it as is and we'll bring out Suki I'll just cut this vellum off To all our demo friends, have you got have you got the curvy celebrations? Or to would be demos, have you seen the curvy celebrations? We I we have shared the flyer on our Facebook page as well. So if you are interested of what they look like and what you get in the bundle, because you get extra 10% off on the stamp and the dies and if you want everything you get uh, extra um, yeah you get the extra 10% off on the DSP as well isn't it? Yeah, um, yes. Amazing. So we have Suki and we are die cutting using the magnetic plate so you need the sandwich I only say this every time because I need to remind myself as well. So um, one, two, five, which is the magnetic plate and one of the three. So three A. <laughs> and we are gonna cut that one from the envelope dies. And what's amazing about this die is, as you can see, it cuts off every bobble individually. That way, I'm gonna try and cut it this way. I'm trying to make use of most of the magnetic platform because we are concentrating too much in the middle and it's um, starting to curve, which it's the same for the acrylic cutting plate. So just make use of all of the sides, but do not turn it over because the top side is the healing mat side. I think that's straight. I can't go over right on top. Hi Susan, hi Devon. Sitting in my shopping basket. S same. I think we are yeah, waiting. We're, we're, we're waiting. Or who's, ma who's made the most of the DSP sale? What did you put in your basket? So, petal pink with the dice again. So it's, it is a lot of die cutting, but it's mostly of the same pieces that you need, uh, which is this die. Soft sea foam.
and then we're going to cut it in vellum as well because I do want to add a bit more vellum layers within the card front. I was just looking for the vellum. I was like, where did I put it? I'm trying to make the most of this vellum. <laughs> Is it gonna work? I think I want the big ones anyway. Okay. So I'll concentrate on the big ones. That will be yes. <gasps> Amazing. I always do a um, happy dance in my head whenever <laughs> you can get more from, from your card stack. <sighs> what do you expect for crafters, right? There we go. And Last but not least, we are gonna cut our Whisper White layer that we stamped on, which is that one, with one of the designs from the die set as well, which is this one. I'm just gonna poke out some of the excess from the last card. So yeah, so it's that one. And I'm just lining it up across the middle. Yeah, I can't help it with this one, but I'm just gonna take it up there. And I'm taking note of where the edges of the paper is as well. That looks right. Just so it's still, once it's gone through, it's still intact as a one piece. If you do find it hard that um, it doesn't cut all the way through, you could always turn your card around. Uh, yes, and the dies. So you have this one that way. So it runs through your... Uh, cutting machine easier but I just did it that way because I know it cuts the stamping up cut and emboss machine cuts cuts it really well and you can see how nicely that is and because it's all joined together it's still within one piece cool oh what can you do with those <laughs> can I incorporate that so as uh, Review just we have all of our card layers and base. We have heat embossed our sentiment and our bobos and then die cut in petal pink, soft sea foam, and vellum as well. So I'm gonna keep those. So I can see them. <laughs> Even though it's got embossed, um, sometimes I still lose them and also especially the vellum ones that I've cut, I can't actually find them. There we go. Cool. And to prepare... Um, with the original, I didn't actually create a hanging uh, piece on the edge, like oh, of the bubbles. And I thought you could use your lovely label sponge and create your own. So you can either use this uh, design or a flattened top 
So this one is either the smaller pieces is half an inch uh, and then it goes up in a quarter increment, as you can see, or 1.3 centimeters and then 6.6 uh, .6 centimeter increment. Okay, so I have got, I have done them on there. So that one was the half an inch and that one was the three quarters of an inch. So I just show you with this one Ooh, maybe i'll cut this i'll cut it this side this way and we can decide so the smaller pieces goes right at the bottom because it fits and then it's quite flat that one and then the next one up is in the middle um, area and then punch it off and it's that way so you can either add it up like that. I quite like this. And because it's the width of it looks better than the smaller one. And that's in full party as well. I am just going to curve the edges just so it looks more... Um, it fits more within the design. So I've just curved that on the edges. Cool. And that one can just be cut down. So now we can construct our card with multi-purpose liquid glue. along the edges you can can like got the pieces on the top and the bottom if you want to but for quickness I'm not going to and I'm just adding small dots of glue as well within the die cut areas just to help it that so it doesn't go off the rococo rose layer especially the pointed ones, but most of it will be covered with the bubbles anyway and the edges. So Uncle Williams is saying our uh, picture has gone blurred, so it doesn't look like our ends. Is that the same for everyone? And because that's the same size you can just do it that way and I, cur I made it the same size so obviously you can do it that way and because the middle piece is die cut sometimes you can warp the paper and pull it so that's why I created the mat underneath the same Cool. All good, all okay, thank you very much. All good in the States, that's great Cheryl, thank you. And this one just gets added on top. And again, having a nice border on your card base. And we can make up our bubbles. So the subtle colors are obviously already soft and um, pastely, but it's even much better with the vellum underlay, uh, the overlay even. Underlay, overlay. Did you just do the? <laughs> I did overlay, overlay. <clears throat> <laughs> no, it doesn't. So yeah, so you can see the difference uh, within the two. So it's um, a lot more lighter. So I'm going to add the big one. And then the next one down. And then the two small ones in pet. No, not. Yeah, petal pink. I 
I should really use my pick tool. There we go. That's better, isn't it? <laughs> and then with the soft sea foam, it's that one. The medium one. And then the next one down. Have you decided yet on your color themes for this Christmas? I know it's it's still two months. But how many sleeves is that? I'm sure it's less than 80 sleeves. <laughs> Who's got the Christmas countdown up yet? <laughs> I tend to not have it. Right, there we go. So, 81 days. 81 days, wow. 4 hours, 16 minutes and 13 seconds. Thank you. <laughs> Extra information didn't ask for, but thank you so much. So um, I'm just again adding tiny dots of glue if you can uh, with underneath the embossed area. Or if you can't do that, that you can sponge the multi purpose liquid glue so all of the airs are. Um, glued onto the card and again it's just easy to align because they're both cut within the same with the same dies some designs are much easier because obviously you got bigger white areas even though I still blob it Mr. Bloopy. It's good on my end. Thank you, Cindy. Cheryl's Christmas cards are all made. Wow, and you've made some for your mom as well. Very organized indeed. As Bar keeps saying what we're gonna do for ours, we keep send, <laughs> sending uh, yes. the cards. To, last year, we were uh, with the lives that we were doing, we just sent out the cards that we created during our lives. So we're gonna have to make extra. Oh, or make. Sort of that lovely DSP yeah, I was get, about to say, or make, make use of the DSP sale and um, create quick and simple layered with DSP. Um, cards. Sue Harvey has just asked what colour is the card base the, and the one behind the cutouts. Uh, so this one is Blushing Bride and the one underneath uh, the Whisper White is Rococo Rose. So I hope it's those two that you were referring to. If not, just um, let me know. And then two more. I like Cheryl's idea. There's um, Cheryl's made her Christmas cards. Yeah. She's saying there. Uh, she's now working on Christmas gifts, which are also cards for the whole year. Oh, do you put it in a box as well? Like as a gift box with all of the cards. Oh, you can craft. Um, and then create a gift at the same time. Amazing. Wow, Rebecca's made 150. What? Wow. Send about 250 cards. That is amazing. Post office must love you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you go to the post office or actually do it online? Oh, and this one. So this one, you don't have much space um, to stick it down. I did still use like where the sentiments are is the back of the sentiment. Also, that's why I added uh, the adhesive back snowflakes as well on a couple of them a couple areas 
but so long as it's mostly stuck in the middle. I quite like that it's flapping on the top and the bottom. It's, it's not flapping, but you can see it's off the page. Yeah, I think that's fine. And then stick that there. Hmm? I gave tins, tins of cards last year. The tins were on clearance and I included a book of stamps as well. Wow. This year they are getting a refill. Oh. Anita has made a hundred cards for church for the elderly. Yes, Betty said, one day I can be like you, Cheryl. Right now I'm a one card design that I don't repeat. Uh, yes, we we hope to be like Cheryl as well. Yes. <laughs> that is our task. Barry. I keep Cheryl, telling Danielle. Yeah. We're gonna follow in your footsteps. Yes, I keep telling Barry to craft um, Christmas cards all year because he loves Christmas crafting. And it's the only time that he really goes goes to town with his with your crafting. Am I fair to say? Yes, I know that's fair to say. Yeah, I'm definitely a Christmas crafter. Yeah. So yes, so and there are Christmas challenges all year round as well, which you can use as inspiration. And there's always a Christmas section in the annual catalogue uh, or obviously use what you have as well already. Where's my this, this one? So I'm going to hide that at the back. And what you could also do is cut a hole in either with your pick tool if you wanted to create a hole or add score lines. You can score it, but I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> or use your trimmer. But I'm literally just pressing down and then moving my pick tool down, which looks like a comb now, but at least it's embossed. And we can add a hole if we want to, or if you have the punch, the old punch, which we still have, the whole punch like this. Our toolbox is full of cat hairs. Ooh. I don't think I used that correctly. Oh no, I did. So then at least it's a bit more cleaner and a bit more bigger. Yes, I, so I created three cards yesterday within the hour and I was just like, up. <laughs> you feel lucky with one. This is how long have I, oh my God, uh, 50. Okay, I'm gonna quickly do it now. So I'm adding that at the back, add glue there, and then just aligning that. I did think of using gold or silver, but I didn't want it to reflect too much. I could have used smoky slate, would have been nice. I'm gonna do it slightly higher, and that looks straight ish. So at least I can still see, I've embossed it, I want to see it. <laughs> and that's gonna go there. And then we, we have more space to add the bow, upside down bow. Okay, I have concentrated more uh, in the middle with the dimensional so I can insert some of the bow balls within the design. And then we are just going to add these underneath. Again, with this one, I'm concentrated more in the middle because I do want to insert some of the 
vellum there this one up here and then with the vellum Ooh, I thought there was another piece That's massive, right? Vellum. <laughs> there, it didn't work. It kind of worked. So, when you're inserting it, and if it goes over, use your... <laughs> I have cut the vellum underneath, just so you can fit it within your design. That's why I only added glue in certain areas as well. And obviously what's nice with vellum is you can see the stamp design underneath. Or do it or do the vellum first. But I wanted to the way that I constructed it is I wanted the layout or the embossed pieces to show a bit more. And I wanted the vellum to hide underneath. So if I started with the vellum, it might hang off, off the page or have too much space between them. So this one I'm going to add there. So don't forget to add a comment if you haven't done so. Like and share the video if you can. And consider subscribing if you haven't done so to our channel. We are so close to the next uh, my milestone still. I think I put that too high. Too high. Ooh, maybe I can't go down now. Yeah, that's done. And then another one up here underneath. pieces which I believe are hiding somewhere where are they there <laughs> cool so nearly done I'm just gonna finish up with the smaller bubbles And they are ones on dimensional. And we can add a bit more smaller vellum around here and underneath here. Maybe there. And here, oh. cool. So one, one, that's done, that's done. I always have to change it. I couldn't just do the original, so then I don't have to think about it, but Yes, I just like to make it a bit difficult for myself. Even when I do videos, I've, I've, if I've pre-done one, um, I still have to change it up slightly, which then makes the video last longer. <laughs> With a bit more frustration sometimes, if it doesn't work. Okay, that's slightly out. Cut that 
Oh. Or it's not in the same area. Oh well. And finally, this one. So it's slightly off and on the main. So I'm adding the dimensional just on the top and adding glue at the bottom. And then we can finish up with the things. <laughs> Get your comments in, don't forget. Right, so playful pet stream combo pack. Oh, can you pass me the snowflakes as well, please? Um, like Ad adhesive pack sequins. <laughs> So with this one, I only use the white from the um, Playful Pets. So if I do a bow, I don't know how long. So if you create a bow first and then cut it after, I can measure it if you want. If I have the trimmer, where is the trimmer, Barry? There. It's annoying, isn't it? <laughs> 10 inches, which is 26.5. No, 25.5. So 10 inches, 25.5 centimeters. And I'm just going to unpick. This, so by turning it the other way, you do have like three strands. Um, I love how you, how do you say bubbles? We say ornaments. Oh, bubbles. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Oh, oh, yeah. That's what, oh yeah, that's why it's called ornamental envelopes. <laughs> yeah, they're bubbles. Bubbles. <laughs> yeah. That's fun. Um, yes, yeah, so there's like three main strands. The white one sometimes is difficult to see if you can see them and there's and then they're divided even more with a few more strands. So I'm just take which is three threads or if you want more obviously add more but I'm just gonna make a bow. And then just shape that up. And then use mini glue dot, which Barry will hand me in a minute after his typing. <laughs> Thank you. And that's gonna go up there. That sounded like a fridge. <clears throat> At night, it makes noises going. <clears throat> right, nearly done. Get your comments in. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you love the products that we that I have used today, or uh, Barry shared on his World Card Making Day projects, you can purchase them if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands. Netherlands from our online shop as well. So I put the mini glue dot underneath just to help that stand up because I didn't add that with dimensionals. Ooh, what was that? Was that Tommy? Was that your stomach? That's funny. And I am just gonna do that one. Uh. Oh. I'm just zhuzhing up my bow and yeah just cut off the tail or the excess 
you can make it hang on the card as well but that requires too much planning <laughs> beforehand or doing it before you stick the card base onto you stick the toppers or the layers before you stick the layers onto the card base which doesn't really work because you have too much layers on the topper to then add it onto your card base but you know what I mean and you can add a bit more if you want your tail ends to defy gravity uh, you can add a, roll up your mini glue dot and then stick it under just underneath here I'll show it up in a second I can't get my fingers around it so just up there so you can then use your strand to hide it he says Maybe spread it out a little bit more or have two on the side. But I'm gonna leave it there because I'm just fussing over it. I will change that up. And then finish up with this lovely snowflakes embellishment. Last call for names. Last call for names. As soon as Barry sit down next to me, we won't update the list anymore. So we won't have to keep you that much longer <laughs> because it is five pass. It is been an hour. And Barry's like, "You're gonna be quick, right?" <laughs> and make one card to show get that done. So you're gonna be too quick. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I think after doing my speed crafting last night. Um, I'm taking my time tonight, but I didn't think I'd be this long, honestly. But I hope you have enjoyed yourselves and love this color palette for Christmas this year. So yes, I'm just cleaning up. I will show the cards that I created for World Card Making Day whilst Barry is setting up the live draw good lovely didn't he do well and yeah we're getting a lot of comments sort of like saying about the alternative color combination i think is what people are liking the um the alternatives so i think that's that's really fun isn't it and uh, that white embossing as well the white on the subtle i think is absolutely mm. lovely so it's really really good excellent love it well done so Jay is Why, going thank to, you. <laughs> Jay is just going to now talk to you. Um, yeah, where's the cards that... Oh, the cards are... You buried them. I buried them as always. As always, okay. right there. So these are the cards that I created for the World Card Making Day. Uh, this was the third one that I created. So it's fairly simple uh, because I only had like 15 minutes to make it. But I used some uh, stamping, second generation stamping uh, with Coming Home and Snowflake Wishes. And some torn off paper there for the hills as well, which is great. Uh, and that's backed up with uh, Stamping Dimensionals. And this one was the second one, another simple one with a bit of sponging, uh, punch there, uh, no stamping actually on this one, which is great. And I thought uh, using, uh, as soon as someone said, oh, uh, Barry's card, it, um, it must have been subconscious because I was thinking of having a river with the house. And then someone mentioned, oh, um, 
I think it was Alison Case Barry's card from Casually Crafting. And I was like, oh yeah, it does remind me of that as well. So uh, subconsciously, I, I must have cased your card. Um, so that one was the Pine Punch, I believe. Mm -hmm. Pine Builder Punch. And my favorite card, the, the first one that I created is this one using Snowflake Splendor DSP, uh, Winter Wonder Embossing Folder, and the uh, Home Together dies as lo as well as the sentiment from the trimming the town design series paper again with an upside down double bow and a single bow so yes i love this is my yeah this is my, my favorite i think this was the original this wasn't the one that i created last no, night okay. so um it's somewhere barry picked it up but i picked it up but it's the same it's the same Thing. Okay, so we have all of the names in. Um, so now somebody is going to win this card. So the winner of this, yeah, I'll bring it up, is going to be. Let me just refresh. Where's my cursor? It with thirty-seven names in. Wow! Tonight. Thank you so much. And there we go. He's hiding his mess. <laughs> That's why he wants to hold the card so he can hide with it. Don't bring it too close, so because it blows the screen. And the winner of this card is going to be. Good luck, everyone. Valerie, Valerie O'Donoghue. Valerie, well done. That card is coming to you. And Tommy has now decided to come Aww. and say hello. So, Valerie, please message us your... You, no, 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 start again. Please message us with, with your details um, to Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com or on Facebook and um, with your details, and we will get that sent out to you ASAP. So, and Tommy is here as well. Yes. Say hi, Tommy. Say hi. <laughs> so, yes. So, thank you so much for joining us this evening. I hope you uh, enjoyed yourselves. And uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Well done. Thank you, guys. We will see you on Wednesday. See thank you. Later. you. Take care. Bye. Bye.